Hi Robinson, this is your Grammy. I have another story to read to you. Now this is a picture book, and I know you're a, you're a bigger kid and you read chapter books, but sometimes, especially during the time of COVID, everyone enjoys something that is maybe for younger kids, things we remember from when we were little. I like picture books. I like picture books, and I am definitely older. Now this one is called COVID Isn't Fair, and I have so many emotions. It's written by Jennifer Gilpin Yasio and illustrated by Linda Farrington Wilson. COVID-19, this darned coronavirus, whatever you want to call it, isn't fair. We've been dealing with it for months now, and I'm tired of it. I want to play with my friends. I want to run and jump and play tag. We've been doing so well with washing our hands and wearing masks and staying away from people that are not in our quarantine, but I'm stuck inside. Or I just go outside with my family. I love them, but oh my goodness, it would be fun to see my friends. <clears throat> Sometimes I get so frustrated, I want to cry or kick something. And once, I even snapped at my little brother. My mom says being angry is normal. And she feels this way too. But we have to be aware of our feelings and not take it out on others. Sometimes mom says we should have a mad session and stomp and yell at the COVID. When we're done, we laugh because that was kind of funny. But it sure felt good. Sometimes I get scared. I see news about people getting sick. I'm anxious that someone I love will get sick, or maybe me. Grandma says she feels this way too, but if we stay safe and follow the rules, we should all be okay. Sometimes I get depressed and I don't want to do anything but stare at the TV or play video games on my tablet. My dad says he feels this way too, but we have to keep ourselves occupied with other activities. Next time I can tell mom or dad I need to snuggle and to talk. <clears throat> One day, we will be able to do fun things with friends again. For now, maybe I can scooter or ride bikes with my friends. I can talk to them on the phone, or sometimes even see them on a video chat. This is not the same as real playing, but it is nice to keep in touch. They are often feeling the same things I am. Together, we can make it through this darn coronavirus, COVID-19, whatever you wanna call it. It won't be easy but we can do it. The rest of the book has ideas for things to do. So here's some ideas. She says, I have a bunch of things I can do when I'm angry, sad, or scared. Then it's your turn to tell me your ideas. She says, when I get mad, I can do my angry dance, jump rope, Hit a pillow, yell at the virus. Those are some good ideas. She says, when I am scared, I can look at pictures of friends or nature, pet our doggy, cozy up in a nice blanket. Things to do when you're scared. When I am sad, I can listen to my favorite song, do something to help others, write a kind note to a friend, make a present for my grandma. Here's a little list of things to do for fun. On the next few pages, you can make your own list. What do you like to do? 
<coughs> excuse me, she says, what I like to do for fun, write in my journal, jump rope, paint a picture, garden with my family, projects and things I can learn, she says, learn to use some kid-friendly tools, help with home improvement projects, start with a few words of learning a new language, hola, bonjour, learn a few cooking skills. Then there's a place where you can write some things that you like to do for fun. And more pages for the person to be able to write in. And I, I, let me tell you a secret, Robinson. I have this book that I got for myself, but look here. I have two of them, and that means one of them is for you, and this one is for me. So I'm looking forward to seeing you soon, and I will give you one of these books. I love you, Robinson. Bye-bye.